Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday. I'm going to talk about a few things that are going to be happening on the market today. Not a ton. I don't think we're getting a promo uh, like I originally thought earlier in the week. I don't think we're going to see any of that. I think like this entire week uh, was a promo in itself, honestly. They started by putting out the UCL marquee matchups. They put out a cool player of the month. Uh, we got the UCL upgrades and the UCL premium upgrade midway through the week as well as the Ghulam and the uh, the other ba Balutu, Baluto, however you say his name, Alexandru Baluta, uh, that card. So we almost had like a little mini promo this week, which was kind of cool. Um, this UCL premium upgrade was really cool. Um, but obviously, as you saw, there was a lot of demand for that. So if you guys, actually, we're going to go take a look at Footbin. Take a look at the index UCL really fast because a lot of these cards are literally selling for max. Let's look at the daily graph. Look at this. It went down from the supply and packs the next day they put out this SBC and it goes flying. Like crazy stuff is just like ridiculous out of this world. Crazy. Uh, one card in particular, this card, to, I was looking through my club today just to see if I had any of these cards tradable. You guys should do this too. This Ulrich card. I sold one today for 9,700 coins. 9,700 coins for this 81 rated Ulrich card. I actually, let's go take a look at my transfer list. I haven't cleared anything uh, from today for my weekend league flips. Take a look at some of these cards uh, that I sold today. The UCL rare cards. Look at this. Devridge for 32k max price. Galick for 25k max price. Savage for 18k max price. DeRossi for 30k. 30k for an 84 rated card ridiculous 9700 and then 5700 for another 81 rated crazy crazy stuff uh, and then also today was a good day for weekend league flipping as well but if you have those ucl rare cards <laughs> just get them out don't do the sbc it's trash it's rigged not very good at all if you have any of these cards i would just get them out take the money especially because they're extinct and if you invested in them big time gg uh, these were just ones that I had in my club. I didn't really invest and I had a few of these in my club. I did one SBC uh, with players from my club just to try it out and I got Pula 6. So I knew from then on I wasn't going to do any more. I don't recommend doing any more uh, just because the SBC was average at best. Now looking at a few of my weekend league flips, uh, you guys should be definitely getting your weekend league flips completed. Since we don't look like we're going to have a promo this weekend, Friday, uh, today should be another great day to trade, uh, but if you have any Premier League uh, striker or left wing type cards, I would maybe try to get out of those before 6 p.m. UK today because of the fact that we could have a Vardy or Mane Player of the Month um, SBC coming out, I, which that will come out today, um, but I just don't know who, who it will be. But other than that, uh, I would just get out of those cards just because there could be some panic. But I flipped a lot of birthday cards this week. A lot of them rose nicely, uh, again, for the second week out of packs. I got a lot of Vitzels during the Wednesday night sell-off before rewards uh, for around 175k and under. Sold those for 200. Uh, this Alba I got for 249. Uh, I got some Martials. I got I posted a couple of these on Twitter, uh, but a couple of pretty nice flips. I got a Lewandowski for 350 in the panic. Uh, and some Di Maria's as well. So it was a good weekend to flip. And uh, we kept pushing up, keep making that coin total grow. Um, but today, Friday, I want to talk about a few more things on the market. Also, I want to talk about one thing. Over here on a footpin, I just noticed this as I sat down. I click on Eric Bailly's price. And footpin doesn't lock that I have, like that I have ad blocker. Footpin is dependent on advertisements. And we have noticed that you're using an ad blocker. Yes, you're correct. I am. Please whitelist Footbin site on your ad blocker. All right, we're gonna go whitelist. Block ads on Footbin. No, refresh. Can I see Eric Bailly's price now? I can, 19,000 coins. But you're gonna see some ads. Look at this, Squarespace. All right, well, we're gonna get ads now on Footbin, so we'll see if I can figure out a way around that. But if you, what, what was I gonna look at even? I don't even remember what I was gonna look at. So this is actually what I was gonna show you guys um, after the Eric Bailly. I want to talk about what's happening today with the Scream boost. Now, if you didn't know, these cards are getting boosted again. Another stat. Um, and I think that means they're going to go to 99 rated. So the stats that are going to get boosted, and I think there's going to be three stats. Correct me if I'm wrong here. Um, but the stats that are now 96 and 95, 
I think they're going to become 99s and whatever shape shift each card changes to. So I know there's a lot of cards that people are looking at that haven't gotten the pace boost yet. Um, or some cards that currently have the pace boost. I know a lot of people are looking at this Rafinha card. Um, and I'm telling you guys right now, if you have any of these and you've invested in the hype, goodness gracious, 35k? We need to go check this out. This is uh, just adding to my point that I wanted to say. If you have any of these cards in your club right now as an investment, you got to get them out. You got This is a situation where you need to sell into the hype. A lot of people have invested. There might be a little bit more investing tomorrow beforehand, as people remember. But this card is literally 35k. I think this is a situation where you just get out of it. I mean, you probably bought him around 20,000 coins. And if he gets the 98 pace, yes, it's going to be a cool card. But it, it's only going to be a very, very usable card if he gets the 90-something pace and he keeps his 95 defense and 95 physical. If he keeps that, then it's going to be a very valuable card. It's probably going to go up and it will be somewhere like a 70, 80, 90,000, maybe even 100,000 coin card. I mean, there's a lot of hype around the Bundesliga this year. I know you have Hakimi, I know you have the new Pavard, but this card would trump all of those if he got the if he kept the 90 something defense and physical and also got the 90 something pace upgrade. But other than that, a lot of these cards I just think you're going to want to sell these into the hype because you don't know what's going to happen in terms of uh, what stats are going to get upgraded. Now, obviously some cards like this Chulanulu card, he hasn't got the pace upgrade yet. So if he keeps the shooting and the pace it's going to be a pretty valuable card because his gold card has what 83 passing so that's going to be a pretty sick card if he gets the pace and keeps the shooting on the left wing in the Serie A that'll be a nice card to look at um, because people will go out and try it and they'll use it but a lot of this stuff I think you just you just want to sell in the hype to be honest um, like a Balotelli if you're using him sell that in the hype Fellaini uh, I think Fellaini has had pace now for quite a few times for the, a couple of the past uh, shape shifts. So if you have this Fellaini card, this is absolutely one that I would sell into the hype because he might lose his pace. We, For all we know, he might actually lose his pace and that would make his card a lot less desirable because look at what his pace goes down to when he doesn't have the boost. 45 pace. Uh, that is not ideal for a lot of these cards. So again, shape shift again, it's gonna happen today. Watch out for that. I think that's gonna be on the back burner, a little bit lesser known. Uh, unless they put out some type of pack that would be like a get a guaranteed player uh, from the shapeshift. But um, I don't really see that happening. Now, I want to take a look at the high rated golds as well. They're still high. They're kind of creeping down a little bit. 86s are nearing 20k. 87s are nearing 30k. Uh, but they're still pretty expensive because when there's not a ton of stuff in the do, as we've seen in the past, people go and they do SBCs, and I think that's what people are kind of doing right now. We have the Champions League hype. Obviously, you can tell all those UCL cards are extinct. Uh, they're rare uh, because of these upgrades. Uh, you got people sinking coins into that, and I think you got people that are sinking their coins and they're doing the Icon SBCs. They're chipping away at a Cruyff or a Best or somebody that they've been looking to do um, throughout the year, maybe a Blanc even. Uh, because I think those are just gonna that's the thing to do right now in FIFA the things to do in FIFA right now are get your get a foot swap um, Which actually just released a new foot swap SBC. Is it in the upgrade section? Basically what you can do is you can turn in um, Two foot swap you can turn in some foot swap players and get a Premium here it is exchange two foot swap items from any month for a premium Electrum Players Pack. I'm actually going to go do this right now. I'm not going to open the packs because I'm going to save them. But I want to show you guys this SBC. So you can do two foot swap players. We'll go special. We will go untradeable items. And I'll show you guys just what I have. Low to high. At the back of the club where I've forgotten to turn in some of these cards. So like I have two here from the second week. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and throw these guys in here. And boom. We have a pack that we can save for tots. It's not the best pack um but you know it's whatever i'm able to actually turn in those cards to something that i can get a pack for uh so now i have that pack you know what actually we'll open that one up we'll just open this one up but again this we on the market if you're looking to make coins and trade you can look at uh reference my video i'll link it as a uh on the end of the video i'll link it as a card uh that you can check out because 
I think that is going to be a good way to trade this weekend by flipping informs, flipping special cards, um, and just flipping cards in general. A lot of people are buying stuff right now, so um, that's a good time to be flipping. Uh, people are playing the game. People want the rewards, and they, uh, especially because of some of these SBCs and objectives, they've been playing the game a lot this week, so they're kind of in that groove of just playing the game. And that's a lot of times when we see um, a lot of the movements on the weekends for cards. That's why you saw me do some flips. Uh, and the flips went pretty well this week. So uh, that was a nice thing to have in a row. Two weeks of Thursday flipping in a row that went really well. And I sold my Messi. Uh, I was a little bit just kind of scared to see if his price would go down. It didn't really uh, because of that SBC when this card was available from that SBC. Thank goodness the SBC wasn't tradable because uh, then this card would have really gone down. Uh, but I did buy this card for 1.199 million coins, sold it for 2 million flat. So I think that's right around uh, 700k profit, somewhere right in there. So that was one of my biggest flips yet of this entire year, um, as we're almost into the top 100 on transfer profit, which is pretty freaking sick. If we go all the way to the bottom, 56,718 56, is... Uh, top 100 right now and we are at 55.5 so we are close we are almost there about a million transfer profit away i'm about out of my weekend league flips but of course there's always time to be flipping uh cards on the weekend so i'll be looking to attain that top 100 uh probably this weekend just by flipping some cards and hopefully you guys can make some coins as well because there's going to be deals out there there's honestly uh sometimes a time period right now when i'm recording this on uh thursday nights before friday um, of where prices dip a little bit on the market and you can maybe even pick up some deals to do like a Thursday and a Friday flipping so I'm kind of looking for that right now just to see if I can see any of those deals and pick any of those up but tomorrow with the, uh, the Premier League player of the month that's going to be a big thing to watch because that will cause uh, some panic on the market now I don't think there's a lot of investments that will be able to be made uh, for that just because again if we look at the high rated golds they're just really, really high over here. We have the 86s are high, the 87s are high. A lot of the stuff is high, so I don't really see that as a good time to invest in some of that. Um, but you know, tomorrow, if we do see, let's say, a Rashford or excuse me, a Vardy Player of the Month comes out, and uh, you see this Rashford card, the Inform or any of his special cards get panic sold, uh, that's going to be an opportunity to invest in the panic sell because uh, players of the same league, the same nation, will definitely go down and take a hit because of that. And it always happens in the Premier League as well. Wow, this Rashford inform is high. Wow, yeah, this inform is really high. But you always see that happen with Premier League because, you know, the best English striker right now in this game, it's Rashford. Um, yes, you could say Harry Kane, but Rashford is probably the one that is the most hyped up and the most used. So this would be a card tomorrow that if a player of the month, Vardy, would come out, I would look seriously at this. Uh, any special version of Rashford is probably going to take a hit. Um, now, if we get a left-wing Mane player of the month card, you're going to want to take a look at other left-wingers in the Prem. And there's going to be a lot more panic there because there's so many left-wingers in the Prem. I'm kind of hoping for Vardy just because if they give out a Vardy, as I talked about in my other video, Vardy would be, I think, a little bit more appealing to a lot of people because so many people already have Hazard. Um, but this Mane card, if it does come out and if he does win player of the month, uh, could be a very banging card, but by the time this video is up, you guys are going to know who wins player of the month uh, So you're going to be able to start to look on the market For possible ways to invest and some, for some possible panic selling areas uh, Where you can get on as well promo wise though. I don't think we're going to get anything. The UCL stuff is going to stay high um, I thought earlier in the week that we might get a promo because I thought this stuff was initially all expiring on Friday Maybe tomorrow we see an Icon SBC, um, maybe another UCL-oriented SBC. I'm not really sure. Um, but it doesn't look like we're going to get uh, a, a legit promo this week. So we're kind of in, a, in like a nice uh, waiting period. People, the EA has just dumped all these Icon SBCs, and they're kind of letting people work through those and do them because there's people that are doing them as evident by the gold market. This also just means that the market in general is pretty high. So that is kind of nice. Um, that makes us makes it a lot easier for us to trade cards and to make coins in that way with the market being 
uh, pretty high. So that's pretty dope. But if you guys enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. If you have any questions, ask me down below. I'll be there uh, in the comments talking to you guys. I want to make some more tutorial type videos in the next week, kind of talking at like a low budget trading methods, uh, trading with silvers. I know a lot of people, I, I recommend that to a lot of people, but I haven't really shown that. So I want to do that uh, coming in the next week. Um, and maybe look into some other just trading methods that maybe need to be revisited at this time of the year, whether it's with golds, whether it's with icons or informs, you know, stuff like that. We'll talk about some of that here in the next week, a little bit more tutorial type videos. Cause I think, uh, from what it seems, uh, you guys are liking those and, uh, that I like to help people learn how to trade and learn how to make coins on this, this, uh, this game of FIFA ultimate team, which we so dearly love. Um, uh, but again, if you enjoyed the video, it's been Nate the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.